Hello everyone, this is Hero Forever. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go and do some scratch animation. So what you're going to begin with doing is uh, deleting that orange cat. This is the second time of me recording the video, but like the first one was really stupid and my cat got in the way and like I like fell over or something. I don't really know. Um, so what you're going to start by doing is just drawing all of the frames you want. It doesn't really matter um, what it is. Actually, I'm just going to do this for um, a representation. It's going to be a really quick one, but I'm going to go and draw a person. Uh, this will be me, because, like, why not? So you want to, if you're drawing a person, make the eyes in, like, the middle of your head. I've been taking art for, like, all of my school years. Um, <laughs> oh, and the first video, I also uh, laughed a lot, too, so... Um, I'm going to try not to do that as much. Now, to make this just a simple quick animation, this is going to be the mouth dot on there. So, <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is go on to my second uh, thing by doing the paintbrush thing. We're gonna go and make something different. Don't change your drawing too much. I'm gonna be changing it a lot more than I should be, only because I'm only gonna be doing like 10 or 15 frames. Uh, so now what you want to do is just slightly change your picture in each drawing. Um, in the third frame, I'm gonna make his eyes start closing because it'll be a blink. When you blink, you usually close your eyes depending on who you are. Um, I think there's like a condition where you can't blink. I don't really know. I'm not, uh, hope I'm not offending anyone with eye blinking. Anyways, so, oops, kind of broke his eye. Hmm, well. I screwed something up here, uh, so you don't have to copy this. I hope you wouldn't actually, because this is really bad. Anyways, on the fourth frame, I'm going to be giving his mouth the circular shape. Uh, I recommend if you're doing uh, like a five second animation, you have at least 50 or 60 frames. This animation is going to be like three seconds, and it's going to be at a low frame rate. I'm only going to be having like, like I said, 15 or 20 frames. So now what I want to do is make his eye collapse on him, kind of, uh, by doing this whoop, scoop. Um, Got to like clear his eyes. Got to like infections or something. Uh, now I think that's enough for this one. Now I'm gonna make him <laughs> a little bit happy. Um, add, him, add his eyes going into a bigger mode because he's getting ready to uh, close his mouth I think. I don't know. Now we're at the seventh stage in our uh, process. We're gonna cover up his eyes some more. Uh, we'll just stretch out his mouth because I ain't got that much time. Hmm. Now make his eyes close a little bit more. We'll get the sides too. Now the one on the right needs to close. I don't really know. You can uh, you can make these things whatever you want. I'm just uh, choosing to uh, like you can make these background pictures whatever you want. I'm just choosing to make it this because it's really quick and it looks cool. Like if this guy went to my school, he'd be like MVP. Mm. 
Now, this is him with his eyes closed, because he's either dead or he's like blinking. Um, I'm going to make his mouth really skinny. Now, what I'm going to do, it gets a little bit easier now, because what I can do is get the eraser tool and make his eye open again. His eye needs to be a little bit smaller. And his mouth will slowly start opening. Hmm. This looks like the old remember to subscribe thing, if any of you have seen it. Um, this actually looks just like it. Amazed. Now the eyes are going to open more. He's going to have his eyes. Open his mouth some so he can say something else. And open his mouth one more time. So he's kind of like in a happy mood right now um, because I made his mouth kind of with a smile going sideways. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the impression that he's mad, because I don't know why, but it kind of looks like that right now. By the way, I've been taking art for, like, all my school years, which have been, like, hmm, I don't know, I've been in school for, like, probably 12 years, maybe, or, like, 10, I'm not really sure. Mm, yeah, about 10 years, 9 maybe. So, so you don't want to make too many changes when you're doing this. You just want to make change uh, a little bit at a time. So now what you're going to do, you can make as many frames as you want. I'm just doing uh, 14 because I'm not going to make this video like 20 minutes just of me drawing frames of something over and over again because you guys get it and uh, you, you guys might have skipped to this part but anyways what you're gonna do is go into the events add the when when flag is click then go into the control add a forever then do next backdrop and now what you're gonna do is in the very beginning you're gonna go and make something that says switch backdrop to back or switch yeah switch backdrop to backdrop one under the looks and now all you got to do is go into here and then press play and it'll play um, he kind of looks weird, um, but he could be saying something. It, if you do, don't have a lot of frames like me and you still want it to go for a period of time, just add the, the weight thing in. Um, I recommend 0.2 if you have something this long, that way you can see what's going on and it still stretches it and makes it look animated. So right now he's telling us a message, and if you want to go and add the message, you could go into the sounds, which I'm not going to do because it's going to probably mess up the video. But you could go and record something, and then once you have it recorded, you'd go into the sounds, play sound. Uh, then it would be shown up here, and then you could just add that in, right? Or uh, you would add it in. I don't know when you would add it in. But anyways, this is the epic how to animate scratch thing. Um... You can use this for a lot of useful things. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you don't, um, I don't know, remember to subscribe.